in another stream, but I'm not very happy. Uh, Brother Dawid's here. Where you at? I can't see you. Here. Yeah, get it. Howdy. I uh, got him out. Uh, oh, I didn't turn the camera over. It's been a very bad day here in Pittsburgh. I'm going to show you some highlights first. There's the stadium where the game's going on. We pray. We're not going to get much gospel preaching in tonight, but you know, you can see that it's raining out here. They're getting way into it right here. But we're praying to preach the gospel. We already prayed. Pray for us and uh, make sure that make sure that you got volume. Do we have volume? Do we have volume? Just let us know if you can hear us. Let us know if you can hear us. It's also raining a little bit. That's one of the reasons we were slow today. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. Hallelujah to the slain lamb before the foundation of the world. You're all too excited about a ball game that will pass away tonight. You are getting, put some camera on me too. You are getting too excited about a ball game that will pass away. But Jesus Christ said, heaven and earth, but my word will never pass away, saith the Lord. Ladies and the cheerleaders, you need to repent, cheerleaders. You're participating in a dog and pony show. Repent and believe in Jesus Christ. The band will not go marching on forever. Whether you're in it or you're not, your band will not go marching on forever. It is time to repent and believe in Jesus Christ, who shed his blood and gave his life for you. You know right there. Show the band. This is a dog and pony show. The day of the Lord is coming upon you. The day 
of Jesus Christ is coming upon you while you participate in idolatry, while you participate in revelry, while you participate in drunkenness, while you participate in your sin, while you participate in your worship experience. Come on over here. You've got your worship experience up there tonight. You worship the Lord God, you worship Him alone. If you're going in there, you can't do it. You can't serve two masters. A man will either hate the one and love the other, or love the other and hate the one. You cannot love Jesus Christ and go to that ball game. You cannot love God and go into that ball game. You cannot sanitize the nature of violence by calling it entertainment. And idolatry by calling it entertainment, by attaching the price of a ticket to it and calling it business and entertainment. It cannot work that way. And if you go to church today, if you go to church today, it doesn't mean you're a Christian. It doesn't mean you're a real follower of Jesus Christ. A real follower of Jesus Christ will not go into that stadium and seek an alternative worship experience. For the Bible says that neither the adulterers, fornicators, sodomites, homosexuals, the thieves, the greedy, slanderers, the greedy, drunkards, revilers, swindlers, and if there be any other thing like it, you will not inherit the kingdom. Somebody here ought to stand up and try to at least claim to be a Christian so I can have a dialogue with you today. You can't be a believer in Christ to go commit idolatry. You can't do it for one red minute. Jesus Christ shed his blood for you and he died for you. He loved you enough to get in the middle. Get more in the middle, like go go to go to that post. Jesus Christ loved you enough to die for you. He stretched his arms out and died for you. A death you couldn't die. And yet the blood of Christ isn't good enough because you seek your own shed blood. The shed blood of Christ wasn't good enough for you. No, you turn around. And you want 11 football players to shed blood for you. Jesus Christ shed blood was not good enough. Ask if they can hear it. Are you so, able to hear? You're bloodthirsty. Please let us know. We're monitoring. And you know what? America is going to get war from four different countries. Yeah. If you watch the news, and you can still. How you doing? Good, how are you? You want to believe in Christ? I believe in Christ. No, you don't. You're going into that game. You don't believe in Christ. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> you can't serve two masters. I don't serve you a master. Not, you're, that is a master. That is not true. That is that is idolatry. Revelry. That's not true. There are cheerleaders who are not dressed the way you ought to see a woman. There's a difference between being a pig and a Christ follower. You're not a Christ follower yes, I am. if you're going into that game and worship. So I'm, I'm, not I'm not worshiping. I'm not a sex. You're a sexist because that's what you want to see. That's what you want to see. I want to see Ben. Yeah, right. <laughs> I want to see Ben play football. I'm going to tell you what. You can high five all you want. Neither fornicators, nor adulterers, sodomites, or homosexuals, the thieves, the greedy, idolaters, revilers, swindlers. What did you do to get the money for this game? I worked. You worked. Do you want a burger? Does that mean your money is your money? Uh, if I earned it. Is yeah. it God's money or is it your money? United States of America. That's right. You can't serve God and man and, and you, you just testify against yourself that you cannot serve God and man. So you are just a man. You can't serve man 
And no, well, thank you. Not, no, thank thank you. Don't eat no, 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 thank you for thank you for the kindness. But we we are, we ate, we ate dinner. Give it to somebody else who needs it. What did you eat for dinner? Don't worry about it. Um, I, I right now I am eating the flesh of Jesus Christ and I'm drinking His blood by partaking in the fellowship of His sufferings. And that is what you must do. That is what you must do to follow Him. You are not following Jesus Christ if you go into that stadium. You're following the devil. You're following the desires of your own flesh. You're following evil desires. Why are we following God? Here. Here. Hold on, let me ask you, what do you believe? What do you think I believe? I don't know. You have to tell me. What's your confession? What? What's your confession of faith? Who do you represent? I am preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, pure and unfiled. I love Jesus Christ. Then why are you going into that game? I'm not. I'm going to get drunk into the cowboy. That's right. You're going to get drunk. Be not drunk with wine. Be not drunk with wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Yo. We'll burn in the lake of fire. Oh, oh, on, oh. A scoffer, scoffers are going to go to hell too. Yes, sir. Drink. Show that bottle. Show that bottle. What an embarrassment. What an embarrassment. Show this. Show this embarrassment. Show them what they do. This is what they do. The mock God. Mocking God. Mocking God is a quick way to make the fire, ladies. You mock God, he will not be mocked. God will not be mocked. Drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of Christ. Do not be deceived. Again, I'll say it. For neither the adulterers, fornicators, sodomites, homosexuals, the thieves, the greedy, Slanderers, revilers, Re revelry is going on in that, ga that game tonight. You're going to cheer for another crowd, and you're going to jeer against Georgia Tech, and you're going to boo the officials when they don't give you a call that you want. Exactly. And if you don't like that call, you're going to go for a booty call. Then you're going to go for the call for alcohol. Then you're going to go to call for even worse and worse abominations. Jesus Christ will not be mocked. Jesus! He will not be mocked. He's coming again soon. He came because he loved you and he died for you. He shed his blood for you, but the shed blood of Jesus Christ is not enough for you. You want shed blood in there. You want shed blood in there. This leads to even more war. This is a prelude to go into the military and commit more wars. You love war. You watch movies about war. You clap and clamor for war. A lot of you Trump fans wanted the war in Ukraine. And now you're going to get more than that you bargained for. Go big. Woo! You won't be cheering for Pitt for very much longer. You're going to be hoping that God will even hear your cries when the missiles come to America. You don't watch the news and see that we have war on four different fronts. But the biggest war you have to fight is against your own evil fleshly desires. You do. No. Go Jesus. Go Jesus. Go Jesus, go. God doesn't care about that football game. He's not interested in that football game. He's interested in whether or not you're going to turn to Why are you gaining from this? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing but rewards in heaven for receiving your stuffing and your mocking. Jesus Christ will not be mocked. You will need him one day, and you're going to want to be on the right side of his judgment. He, he shed his blood. He died for you. He did everything necessary for your atonement. And you turned around and said, not good enough. I need those players to shed blood for me in there.
my preaching would be in vain. Is my preaching in vain? No, because Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Yes, yes, I'll miss you for how many? He shed his blood. He gave his life for you. Yet, you got a whole of beer in your... They let you all do public intoxication here. What the heck? Yeah. I can tell you in Texas they would they would write you a ticket. Good. But I'm gonna tell you what, you already have a fine you can't pay. Thank God this isn't you have a fine you can't pay. And you're not covered you're not covered by the blood of Christ. If you go to this game, you're not covered by the blood of Christ. Hallelujah to the glory of the slain lamb. Cheer on. Cheer on. Let's get you to do that on the day of judgment. Cheer on. Do we have anybody from Atlanta tonight? Anybody who drove all the way in? To see the rambling wreck. Mm. It's going to be a rambling wreck tonight. It's raining outside. You have got no sense on your mind. Only a senseless fool and a British man do not understand. But it is God that when the wicked springs up like grass, it is only that God allow you to prosper so he may destroy you. Psalms 92, verse 7. God will not be mocked. Only the fool said in his own heart, there is no God. Only the fool says there is no God. You might even tell me, I believe in God, but I'm going to that game. You believe in a God? as a figment of your own imagination. It says the fool has said in his heart there is no the God. The fool has said in his heart there is no God. There so, is a God, you will stand before him one day. Judah! Well, actually, now neither one of them. They're, they're, they're burning in hell, too. Both you're going to burn in hell with them. You're going to burn in hell with all yep. false gods. All the false gods are burning in hell. With all the shed blood of Jesus Christ will. burning you. We like wine. Yeah, be ye not filled with, intoxicated with wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. You have not the Spirit of Christ because you're not a son of God. He actually said, last time I checked, he said, scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites. A lot of times. You have not read your Bible enough to know that he will come back one day to judge the quick and the dead. Yeah, but he, he comes you to, and your, and your foul mouth is right. another demonstration. That your speech is unclean, that means your heart is unclean. Your hearts need to be washed by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Your hearts are not washed clean by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God for salvation, first to the Jew, and then to the Greek. A lot of you go to church, and you're acting, you're play acting tonight, and you play act when you go to church. You always need an act. You always need to go front stage, stage right, stage left. Well, on the day of judgment, if you don't believe in Jesus Christ shed blood, he's going to tell you, go to my left, depart from me, worker of iniquity. It says in the last days that scoffers and mockers will come saying, where is the promise of his coming? I have not seen him yet. For things are now as they always have been. But let it be known that his coming will not slumber. 
For a day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is as a day, and your time is ticking down to the return of Christ. He's going to come like a thief in the night. He's going to come like a thief in the night. And you know what? If you're not on the right side of it, he's going to snatch you. And he's going to take you like tear is bundled up. And he's going to take you out to the Gehenna and burn you up. Football, baseball, basketball is idolatry. I don't want to hear a little sin is okay. What are you going to do tonight after you get done with the game? That's not going to be enough for you. You've got to go grab for something more. We'll go drink more beers. We'll go out dancing. We'll go out and live it up. Always, God will certainly forgive me for it too, won't he? If you have a planned sin tonight, if you have a planned sin tonight, don't expect God. Don't expect the shed blood of Jesus Christ to cover any willful, planned, premeditated sin. Mm -hmm. It's a shame that we're so close to World War III. It's a shame that this nation has war on at least four fronts. Four Turn different nations are going to lead the way against the United States. And yet, you're going to live your life as if nothing is ever going to happen. Because you think your mighty military is going to protect your sinful way of living. That's what you call freedom. But I'm going to tell you what, in America, I ain't got no freedom. And no true believer in Christ has any freedom except in Christ. But not by your constitution. Your constitution is a slave document. You agree to all live along and get along. I'm not going to agree to that. I agree to the gospel of Christ. I agree to the shed blood of Christ. I agree that Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father because he is the Father. He is the Father of lights in whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. But I'm going to tell you who changed. It wasn't God who ever changed. It was you who changed. It was you who put your priorities on stuff like this called idolatry. Anything that is worth more to you than God is idolatry. And if it wasn't, you just turn around, go back home, tear up your season tickets, count it lost, follow Christ, repent. I do not. I have a ticket to the New Jerusalem. That's the ticket you need. That's the ticket you need tonight. The ticket to that game could be your very last. For whatever reason, the, your, this, this game could be your very last game before you're going to have to stand before the righteous judge, Jesus Christ. What's he going to tell you on that day? You don't even know your time to go. You're going to drown your sorrows out with alcohol. You're going to drown your sorrows out with a little revelry, a little alcohol. You're going to drink, drink alcohol in that game. That one little can of beer cost you $10. It's worthless in comparison to the mighty riches of Jesus Christ. What are you doing to yourself? You defame your own self. And you will not go to that either. Without repenting to the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Your pride is multifaceted. You have gay pride. I have patriot pride. I have American pride. I have Biden pride. I have Trump pride. All the pride is sin. And pride comes before a fall. And you know it well with that beer in your hands. Shame on you for that. 
Shame on you for quoting the scripture with a beer in your hand. I'd rather you not quote scripture. I'd rather you not do that to, to the living God. You need to go home. Go home and pray to receive Christ. Get rid of that thing of beer and don't be shacking up tonight. No, you know, I don't want you to see you. I want you to repent. I want you to repent to him, to Jesus Christ. I don't want you to go shacking up tonight. It's an abomination. What do you want me to tell you tonight, sweet nothings? You got Russia, you got China, you got North Korea, you got Iran who hate your guts. And you're going to go living on like the military is going to help you. They're going to lose this war. Hey, hey, the kid is ain't going to make it. America is not going to make it. So you're going to decide, I'll drink my guts out. I don't care if a bomb hits me. You're going to care when you stand before the righteous judgment seat of Jesus Christ. What are you going to do on the day of Jesus Christ? What if it happens to you in that stadium on any given day? You may ask. Me. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm Go ahead. Go ahead, ask the question. So, what's your, uh, what do you say? I am preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, shed blood. That it covers those who repent and believe in the gospel. What do you believe about that today? So I have a weird, like, hybrid belief. So mainly, like, I see we have a gift of sentience, right? Amongst us as human beings. A gift of what? A sentience. Oh, you mean science? I'm sorry? Sci science or knowledge. I, no, no, no. Sentience would mean like knowing of self awareness. Okay. Self awareness. So, knowing of self awareness. As it regards to you, what about what's outside of you? What's outside of me? That That's to speak for the organism reaching to itself. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you God, you may not see him, but you know he exists. He made himself known through his creation. He made himself known through his creation. And you know God in your heart. You know there's a law written in your heart. You know you don't want to kill anybody, right? Morality. Morality. Yeah, but it's the commandments written in your heart. Get rid of that heart of stone and get a heart of flesh. Soften change, your change. heart towards the Lord Jesus Christ tonight. Soften your heart towards the Lord Jesus Christ. As you go walk in that stadium, you're hardening your heart against Jesus Christ. You are stiffening your neck against Jesus Christ. You are raising your chin against Jesus Christ like a good little mason. Shame on you for that. Soften your heart towards the Lord of glory. Turn that heart of stone into a heart of flesh. Have a heart to repent of your sin and accept the blood shed atonement covering of Jesus Christ. No, I'm not a paid hireling pastor who's going to tell you what you want to hear. I don't get paid by the Southern Baptist hirelings. I used to be one of them. They're all of the devil. They're all, all the Southern Baptists are of the devil. All of them, other denominations are of the devil. All Catholics are of the devil. You got to repent and believe in Jesus Christ. Don't go into the game and tell me you believe in anything by yourself. Hallelujah. Time to come clean before the God of heaven and believe in the shed blood of Tony sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Your bones and your tears do not deter the gospel. I've been kicked and beaten to the ground before. And I, I don't expect to die. Well, I just got him fully charged. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to die. Christ, I preach in the I preach in the We don't believe 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 in the We don
They're going to lose. It's cool, but I'm going to lose. Even if they win, they're going to lose. You know that's illegal to film me? No, it's not. No, it's not. You're in the public. That's what they all say, isn't it? This is not hate. This is love for your soul tonight. This is not hatred. But you are going in there to commit sin after sin after sin. You're not going in there for righteousness sake. You're going in there for your own flesh. You're going in there for your desires. You're going in there for your desire for bloodshed. You're going in there for your desire for war. You're going in there because you want what you want, not what Jesus Christ wants. Set yourself apart to Jesus Christ to shed his blood to die for you. Hallelujah. God will not be mocked. I'm going to hell. Is that what you want? Yes. You really? shall have what you desire. Thank you. Go on forward <laughs> and sin no more to change your mind about what your destiny is to be. By believing in the shed blood of the of Christ and not going into that game and repenting of all your sins, whether they be greed, lust. Did you know? That adultery is not just a physical act. It's lusting after a woman or a man in your own heart. And the hatred you have in your heart is that you hate Jesus Christ. You hate Jesus Christ in your heart. You have put him so far out of your mind as you can get him out of your mind because you want another worship experience in that stadium tonight. Yes. Oh, this way. So he admits he wants a worship experience tonight, other than Jesus Christ. But you know what? A lot of Christians who are here call themselves Christians, they'll fall better than they are. Unless you call yourself a Christian. You can't be a Christian, can't be a follower of Christ and go on that ball game. I'm gonna continue to tell you over and over again about the sin you're engaging in. Who's here from Georgia tonight? You're from Georgia. Are you gonna make it home? Are you gonna make it home tonight? How do you know you're going to make it home tonight? How do I even know if I'm going to make it home tonight? How, how are you so arrogant to believe that you're not going to wake up in hell tomorrow if you have not accepted the bloodshed atonement covering of Christ? Who are you to believe that you're even going to make it out of that ball game tonight? How arrogant are you to believe that God will not save you full? This soul is required of you tonight. It's required of you tonight. God can take your soul any day he wants to. He's got your day number. Then you go on living, trying to pretend it ain't never going to happen. You go on living, trying to pretend like, you're going to be as you are now, and, and you're not going to... You look, look at all the old people around you who can barely walk. I'm not making fun of them, but you don't think you're going to become like one of them one day? Look around you. That's why God put old people in front of you. To show you that that could be you one day. That you could barely walk one day. I'm not, I'm not making fun of handicapped people or old people. I'm just telling you that God put old people in your path to show you that they're closer to dying than you are. And all of you are just a heartbeat away from Sorry. dying and meeting the righteous judge. No, I don't take pictures. I'm not an, I am not an idolater. I'm not an adulterer. I'm not a fornicator. I'm not a reviler. I'm not a sodomite. These types of sins will send you to hell. I am not a slanderer. Republican. I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. I don't vote. I am not even a United States citizen. I am born. I am French born. And it doesn't matter either way. Because you've got to believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ tonight. Well, at least we'll cut through this one. Yeah. 
There are many ways to get into that stadium. Many gates to go into one stadium. But Jesus Christ is the only way to salvation. You will not mock God forever. He will allow you to mock him only so long as he wants to bring you to repentance or to throw you into the lake of fire. You have got a choice today. Your choice is one of two things. Continue to reject the shed blood atonement of Jesus Christ. He died for you. He shed his blood for you. Continue to reject that. Go your own way, and you're at Satan's disposal with God's permission. Or turn around, go home to your prayer closet, okay, accept dude. Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Go back home. Tear up your season tickets, count it lost, and praise God that he might fill you with the Holy Spirit. We got the Holy Spirit of truth that you're going in that ball game tonight. And if you're getting drunk, you ain't got the Holy Spirit. If you're full of lust, you ain't got the Holy Spirit. If you if you got a beer, you're not full of the Holy Spirit. If you're lusting after another woman in your own heart, if you've got an evil plan for tonight, if you've got an evil plan for tonight to go to the bar and dance, go to the fret club and, and the sorority, you're not born again. Jesus Christ will accept you out of that. But you cannot continue in that. He says, go and sin no more. Unless the worst thing happened to you. And you don't have a guarantee that you're going to make it out of that game tonight. You have no guarantee that you're going to make it five minutes. You don't even have a guarantee of five minutes. You're living your life. I'm not talking about a church pastor. You know what? I don't like church pastors because they're not preaching the truth of the gospel. They're preaching the truth that it's okay to be gay. They're preaching the truth that it's okay to be drunken. It's okay to sin, and it's not okay to sin. Young children, you are being made to stumble tonight by going into that game. Go talk to your parents and tell them, why'd you let me go to this game? Why do I have to go to this game? Why are you teaching me the ways of evil? Why are you allowing me to do the ways of evil? Yes! Preach! Preach! And on the day of judgment, there will be one who will preach a final sermon to you. If you don't believe in the shed blood of Christ, your final sermon will be, Depart from me, worker of iniquity! I never knew you. Those words scare me also because I fear God not to continue to walk after his ways. And you all put up stumbling block after stumbling block before me and my brother here. You want to walk after your own ways. You don't want to walk after the ways of Christ. I'm actually sad for you, and I'm actually mad at you, too. I love Jesus. No, you don't. No, you don't. I want the church when I was a kid. What saved always saved is alive from the pit of hell. You must endure to the end and be saved. How do you know he's done? How do you know he's done? You must endure to the end. You must not commit idolatry. You must not... Lose your you must not take the official. You must not want to see the blood on the field. Jesus Christ shed his blood. He bled for you. He died for you on that cross. And what have you done to Jesus Christ? You turned your back on the living God. Why would you do that to yourself? Why would you continue to condemn 
your own self. You have condemned yourself. You have condemned yourself. Under the shed blood of Jesus Christ, you have condemned your own self. You can't condemn me. No man can condemn me. No man can condemn my brother Dawid over here. You only can condemn your own self. I have been to a doctor in four years. Yes. I have been to a doctor in four and a half years. That's correct. At the age of 58. That's correct. And so, mockers and stoppers will not inherit the kingdom. And if you're taking your family to the ball game, you have abandoned your family to another. You have abandoned your family. You have abandoned your children. You have abandoned your children's provision. This are getting swallowed up. Your inheritance is getting swallowed up by profligate living, by sinful living, by wasteful living. You need to go home and take care of your family. You don't need to be out here causing your children to stumble and causing them to sin. Give yourself a rest and give your children a rest too. This ain't recreation. This is taking bondage. Yeah, it sounds mean. You've got an evil plan for tonight. After the game, during the game, right now, you've got an evil plan. Now that you admit it, blessings to you. Now repent and come to Jesus Christ for your salvation. Believe in that shed blood. Welcome to your prayer closet. Repent before the living God. Before it's too late. I knew more of you would be coming in a little later today because of the rain. So you could have just skipped the game and gotten in your prayer closet. You're so determined to come out to the to the game in this rain that you'll abandon your children. You'll abandon your wife. You'll even abandon your husband if you're a woman. Or you'll, you'll go abandon your family and your children to go see this ball game when you should be at home with your family. You're not taking care of your family if you're at this game. Just because you're all together does not mean you're taking care of your family. You're going to be accountable for every idle word you speak on the day of judgment. Are you older, men older than me, older than 58? You're grown up children. You are. I don't know how else to, what is that? I don't know what else to tell you. This is, this is child's game. This is child's play. Grow up. Shut down the stadium and quit going to the games. I bought tickets for a ball. I can't though. The Federal Reserve dollar will collapse. I taught economics. I called accounting, I practiced corporate accounting, and I was no longer to be an accountant because I was too, I chose to be wise rather than be a fool to keep my job. The Federal Reserve dollar will collapse, and you're going to collapse with it. If you don't believe in Jesus Christ soon, today is the day for salvation. There is not another day. You don't get to choose the day you die. You wouldn't choose it. You think you're gonna live on forever like this? I can't choose the day I die. Neither can you. You have you have no say in the matter. Satan is bidding on God for some of you tonight. You better pray God has mercy on your soul tonight. It's really, it's really. You don't even understand the nature of spiritual warfare. In other words, they're going to get war. War is coming to America. These streets are going to become desolated. These streets are going to be filled with bloodshed. What are you talking about? Say, yeah, America will fall. Jesus Christ will see to it. 
that America will fall. You're going to say to yourself, we've won every war. We've never been harmed. Not a hair has fallen from our heads because our military just is that great. Your military is too busy. They're confused. They're too busy. They're too busy trafficking children in order to defend your country. Your military traffics your children. The law enforcement even traffics your children. You hand your children over to the devil just so you can have that game tonight. Shame on you. Go back home and take care of your family and don't bring them out in this rain. What's going to happen you wake up sick in the morning? That ain't honoring Jesus Christ. Really? It's that serious. You'll go out, you'll go out in the rain. But let me ask you a question. Will you go out in the rain to feed a homeless person? Will you go out in the rain to make a sacrifice even for a for a distant friend or a distant cousin? No. You'll go out to the game in the rain. But you won't do anything for anybody but yourself out in the rain. Your desires are selfish. You're selfish. You're only focused on yourself and your desires. Yes, that's a hard word to speak. I, at the age of 58, live the same way. I had money like you had. I was miserable. And you can pretend like you're happy. But you're miserable. Look how much you've got to drink tonight to cover up your sorrows from a week at work, working job that will not last for eternity. Many of you are one more away from losing your job, economic recession, financial collapse all over the world. Many of you may even face a cold winter. Without power, without electricity, you haven't heard about the energy crisis in Europe? It's coming to America, and you're going to call me a fear monger. It's in the news. And yet, you won't repent. You won't believe in Jesus Christ. I'm willing to stand out in the rain for you, with you, to show you what a fool I am. I'm a fool for Christ. I am a fool for standing out in the rain. And so are you. I less a fool than you because my goals are eternal. Your goals are temporal. All you are to this government and to the university is a template. Damn it! All you are is another number to them. You're, you've got a student ID number, you've got a social security number. You're even gonna take, some of you have already taken the mark of the beast. I don't know who you are, but you're willing to take the mark of the beast just to keep this all going on. You need to go find out what the mark of the beast is and get some research done real quick. But it's been out. You can't say what it is here. Before the foundation of the world, you're going to be accountable on the day of judgment. And I tell you, I've got some Masons walking by me. I've got some Freemasons walking by me. Shame on you for the dirty rituals you do in the lodge. Shame on you, Eastern stars. Shame on you, fraternity and sorority boys. I know what you do, your satanic rituals. You do satanic rituals. You, you do animal sacrifices. I know what you guys do. I was a college instructor. I, I worked on a PhD. I know what this is all about. I was a football idolater just like you are right now. And Jesus Christ freed me from it 
and he can free you from it. Go back home and take care of your family. You don't need this tonight. I agree. Then go home. Get your prayer closet. Believe in the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Your money will perish. I believe it. Your money will perish. And you know what? Your money perishes. Your money perishes down the hatch. Your money perishes down the hatch. Your money perish on this game tonight. Your money perish on the alcohol you stick down the desert. Your money perish on the food you ate. But did you thank God? Did you thank God? Not for one minute. Your money perish tonight. Your money perish tonight. Apart from the shed blood of Jesus Christ, you need Jesus. You don't need this. You need Jesus. You need the Savior of all mankind. What is going on inside of your heart? It's because you want to watch a game. What are you going to stand on on the day of judgment, Paul? You want me to put the phone up, too? No, not yet. Keep on going. Because there's still some gospel to be preached. I know. We Jesus can preach Christ. without the camera. We both can preach without preach. the camera. Jesus Christ did not die in vain. He did not die in vain even if you reject it. Even if you reject it tonight. Time is running out. Time is running out. Scoffers and mockers at the last days, folks. Put the camera on me real quick. We're out here. It's raining pretty good. It really is. But it doesn't deter us from going out here and trying to tell some of you that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. And I will confess it. And what's your confession? What's your confession? What's your confession? Yes. There's yeah. Christ is the only way. Messiah, Yahushua, Jesus is the only way to, to salvation. So what's your salvation tonight? That game. That's your salvation. And then that salvation is gone. And then, and then Pitt loses. And you lose anyway, either if they win. What are you Hallelujah to the glory of God. Please, somebody repent and believe in the gospel of Christ. Time is running out. It's ticking. It's ticking. It's ticking until the coming of Christ. The return of Christ is near. Look at the news. Look at the news, folks. Biblical prophecy is being fulfilled tonight. It's being fulfilled even in you. Because you scoff and you mock at God and you live the way you want and you spit in God's face. Although you supposedly had freedom. You supposedly had freedom. You used your freedom for license. Yeah, what's so so are you ready tonight? For what? To meet the Lord. Yes. No thanks. You don't. What makes you what makes you what makes you think he's going to accept you into his heaven? Someone beautiful person. Wrong. I'm meeting the Lord tonight. He said wrong. What's wrong with your me? your words may come against you. I love the Lord. What's you wrong don't with love me, him. What's wrong with me? Do you believe in the shed blood of Jesus Christ? Oh my sure, God. It's yes. like Saturday night. Why are you doing this? And because I care about souls. Oh my God. And God. you don't. God. You don't. You care about your own self. It's like Saturday night, and we just want That's to have right. fun. Why Let's you? go, Pete. Fuck yeah. Penn State. Yeah, yeah. fuck Penn State. Yeah. Fuck Georgia. Yeah. Look go. at you. Look at your attitude. Yeah. That is a form of revelry and hatred. Why do you want to hate somebody else? Why do you want to hate somebody else? Shame on you for hating. A lot of you don't even know what kind of demons you have. You're full of demons. You are. You got alcohol in your system. You're full of demons. You're, wa you're walking according to the flesh. You're walking according to the lust of the flesh. According to the desires of the 
flesh according to the dictates of the mind, the carnal mind. The carnal mind is an enmity with God and either desires to, to do the law or even to want to obey it. The law of God is working against you now. The law of God is against you. The precepts have been written against you. Apart from the shed blood of Jesus Christ, the law will judge you. Hallelujah to the glory of the lamb, the slain lamb. And we're going to cut it short tonight, everybody. Let's walk away over distant. Let's go this way. Come on. All right. So we're going to conclude tonight because my voice is getting really raw. And I um, want to thank you all for praying for some of these uh, students and, and other alumni who have decided to put football as their God tonight. And, and look, there it is right there. The game is right there. And that's where the Pittsburgh Steelers will be playing tomorrow at 1 p.m. We plan on maybe, maybe not preaching tomorrow. Maybe we don't know yet. But that's the stadium they both share. So um, my voice has kind of gotten raw. But I hope you know that Paul said, to preach the gospel in season and out of season. Not when you feel like it. Yep. Not when you feel like it. For sure. Not yeah, when you feel like it. Go ahead. No, it's not something we do to, because we, we like or in our flesh. Our flesh hates it. But you know what? Let it be a testimony against the nations that street preachers are maybe even a, uh, willing to uh, show up in the rain because I love souls that much. And even if the word sounds that hard, we're still here for you and we're here for them. But we are here mostly for the glory of God. And I pray that this is a symbol of the washing of the water of the word, according to what it says in first Peter chapter two. So we're going to we're going to pack up and go from Pittsburgh, uh, the, 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 the Pittsburgh university Panthers. of Pitt, of Pitt and Georgia Tech. Uh, blessings to you. Uh, Shalom night. And Brother Daniel has something to say to you too. Yep. Just this, quick, just real quick. Just say yes, good night. Yes, this city's coming. Yeah, as with the rest of the United States, this city's going to be judged, judged heavy by by water and fire. By water and fire. These people, you get up close to some of these people, they don't believe it's going to happen. They believe in mighty America. America is going to be brought down to size real quick. We have to pray for people who can still be born again and saved. Because we really do want that, so we're gonna leave, uh, we're gonna put the PayPal Cash App link below. I think it's already down there. If you pray about it and if he leads you to help out a little bit, I don't care if it's five dollars or one dollar, anything helps today. No gift is too small or too large, but one thing's for sure: your heart for coming here tonight and praying for us is a big heart for the Lord. So. We're going to sign out, continue to pray for the game tonight, and pray somebody will maybe be impacted by the word that was preached by the gospel of Jesus Christ, Yahushua, who is Yahuwah. Good night from Pittsburgh.